Welcome, my name is Philip King. In this guide we will be installing WordPress in a local development environment using a method that will allow multiple blogs on multiple databases. I will presume you already have a local development environment installed and operational. This should consist of at least the following. An Apache HTTP server, a MySQL database server, a PHP application server, and an application such as PHP MyAdmin to handle the administration of the MySQL database. Just use the latest versions and you shouldn't have any problems. If you do not have a local development environment set up, our step-by-step -step guide to installing a local development server environment using WAMP Server 2 will show you how to install a development server environment. WAMP Server 2 is the Windows Apache MySQL PHP software stack for Windows-based systems. It is an ideal starter platform for creating a local development environment. To begin, we need to create a database for WordPress. So presuming the WAMP Server 2 setup is installed, click on the WAMP Server icon to display the menu. Select PHP MyAdmin to administer the MySQL database. Enter a name for the WordPress database into the Create New Database text box. I'm just going to use WP DB Test. Click the Create Database button. When the database has been created, go back to the PHP MyAdmin homepage and select the User Privileges link to create a new user. Setting up a new user can be admitted if you intend to use just the administrator account, in which case just ignore the next few steps. Select the Add New User link. Make sure Use Text Field is selected in the drop-down menus and select the Username text box. Enter a username. Select the password text box and enter a user password. Move to the retype password text box and enter the password again. Don't forget to write down your username and password. Scroll down the page and click the go button to implement the changes. All options under global privilege can be left at their defaults. Return to the PHP MyAdmin homepage and select the user privileges link again to assign user privileges. Select the edit WP username privileges icon link. Scroll down until you see the database specific privileges section and use the add privileges on the following database drop down to select our database WP DB test. The page will refresh with privileges for that database. Click check all to select all privileges and click the Go button. Make a note of the host name listed after server at the top of the page, should be localhost. Return to the home page and close PHP MyAdmin. We now need to download the WordPress files, so open your browser and browse to the WordPress download page. Select the download link, enter the file save location. I recommend you place the file in a web root directory. This makes it easier to create WordPress sites later and click the Save button. When the file has finished downloading, close the browser window. We now need to extract the WordPress files. So, using Windows Explorer, browse to the location you save the WordPress archive and extract the files. Select the directory created and rename the directory to the same name as the database. In this case, wp-db-test. This just makes things easier to remember and helps a lot when you have multiple WordPress sites and databases. We now need to set up the WordPress WP config file. This file controls the WordPress database usage. So open the new directory and copy the WP config sample PHP configuration file to WP config PHP. You could just rename the file, but I prefer to keep the original file as a backup. Open wp-config-php in your text editor. I'm using Notepad++, but any text editor will do. Scroll down and find defined db name, and enter the name of our MySQL database, wp-db-test, in the indicated field. Scroll down and find defined db user and enter the name of our username, WP username, in the indicated field. Scroll down and find Define DB password. 
and enter the name of the password, WP password, in the indicator field, then click the Save button, and close the text editor. We now need to run the installation script to configure WordPress. So open your browser, and run the install script. This will display the configuration page where you can enter your blog title. An admin email address. This doesn't have to be a valid address. Select the Allow My Blog to Appear in Search Engines checkbox. Then click the Install WordPress button. With a successful installation comes a new username and password. Make a note of these details. We'll change the password straight away. Click the Login button. Enter the username admin. Enter the generated password. Click the login button. At the top of the dashboard page is a notice area. Click on the link Yes Take Me To My Profile Page text box so we can change the password. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and enter a new password. Click the Update Profile button when you're ready and it's time for a test run of our blog. Enter the blog's web address in the browser address bar to see the public front page. Enter the blog's admin web address in the browser address bar to be taken to the login screen where you can enter the username and password again. To obtain access to the administrator's dashboard area where you can explore and begin customizing your blog. And we are finished. That's all there is to installing WordPress in a local development environment. If you need more MySQL databases and more WordPress sites to play with, just repeat the steps and construct as many WordPress sites as you wish. Well, that's this step-by-step -step guide complete. I hope you found something useful. Don't forget to let me have your comments, and remember, enjoy yourself!